Hey, what's up? Uh, Tristram here, just uh, with a quick uh, presentation to show you how to set up a website domain. Uh, really, really easy if you're wanting to, you know, get your own domain.com or if you're sick of using, uh, you know, other things, other people's or other companies' you know, websites or anything like that. Um, this is an easy way how to get your own name, whatever you want. Uh, so, if you see here, um, all that you need to do is go to domain seller sites. Uh, these sites such as Namecheap.com or GoDaddy.com or Crazy Domains, uh, I think it's .co.nz, a New Zealand company. Um, but to be honest, there's a whole lot of uh, domain providers out there. Um, now these guys just sell, you know, domains. They don't sell. They well, they do. Some of them do. So you s sell you websites, but it's better to just buy a cheap domain off them and use someone else to to make your website. So um, I'll give you a quick uh, example here. So um, where is it? Uh, not that one. Uh, if you see Namecheap.com, um, you'll see here that I've used Namecheap and I've got my domain, which is TristramLS.com. Um, you can jump over and visit it if you want. Um, but that's basically where you um, you know go to buy your domain and stuff. Um, so you want to create your own domain, um, think of one, um, you know, like your name.com or your whatever you want.com or dobbers.org.me.co.nz, whatever you want. Uh, Bustername.com is a good site to you know, give you some ideas of, you know, coming out with some cool creative names for your websites, um, basically. And you want to check if, to see if anyone else is using it, you know, because um, sometimes people can um, have the same name as you and they've already you know been in there and taken the, the domain before you have so trying to come up with some different variations or, or whatever you want um, it doesn't really matter um, it kind of well it does in some aspects but I'm not going to cover that here um, the cost of these are you know about 20, 10 to 12 bucks uh, per year uh, sometimes you can get them cheaper uh, if you get some crazy deals from like GoDaddy sometimes they do five dollar domains um, but you'll have to, you know, search on Google for the discount codes, or, you know, GoDaddy uh, discounts or something like that. So you know, it's pretty cheap. Um, if anyone, you know, offers you more than that, you know, more than this to get a domain name, then don't listen to them. Like, because I've seen people buy domains, domain domain names for like 50, 60 bucks a whole year, and I was just like, what the hell, man? ripping people off um, so this is yep so it's you don't even really need that much um, so it's pretty cheap uh, for you to use and all you want to do is uh, once you buy it um, point your domain to your own site so if you had a WordPress site or some other a Wix site or whatever site um, in the settings they should there will always be some sort of training where you can go to your domain settings and uh, you know put in your own custom URL or your website address and all you want to do is just point it. So if you bought it, so if I bought it from Namecheap.com, I want to point it to wherever my site is hosted. You know, everyone has these instructions. I'm not going to go through them because it would be a waste of time. But from your domain provider and whoever your host, who's ever hosting your website is, they will have instructions. If they don't, I'm pretty sure that there's thousands of other people around the world on YouTube that have asked the same question that you have. So always remember to do that sort of thing right um, I'll show you a quick example um, just in case um, so here it is uh, I'm in my um, account and I'll just go to I'll go back to the beginning so pretend I've logged in um, to my Namecheap account dashboard um, so here's my dashboard I've got some other domains I've registered I'm going to pick my domain here so this is a list of domains that I have bought um, so you'll see in here as well um, so what you want to do is whatever uh, name provider you have they'll have some sort of option somewhere uh, where you can you know, forward to your own domains or whatever you want. If not, they always have some sort of questions. So yes, Q and A here. Um, give me, 
you know, people will have asked these questions, how do you set up these, how do you set up this, how do I do this? It's all in the back office, it's all there for you to use. So my 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 website is hosted on kalatublog.com. Um, they've given me some instructions on what to do and all I need to do is put this uh, send my forward my Tristram LS to this here and then they set up the rest um, you'll see that's pretty you know pretty straight forward really um, so That's pretty much it. That's all you really need to do. Um, so yeah, if you want to know more, uh, make sure you stay subscribed. If you like this video, give it a like, give it uh, subscribe. Um, check out my other trainings I've got for you as well. Um, just basically quick trainings how to, for you how to set up cool things like this. So that's it. I'm out. Peace.